Hey guys, it's Coach Wadley. This video is going to be a little different. There aren't necessarily any progressions that we're going to go through here, but rather I want to take the time to show you some of the activation exercises that we'll do more often than not right after our dynamic warm-up, but before we actually get into the heavy lifting. So these are just exercises that will give certain muscle groups a little extra attention or just work on some mobility again before we get into our actual workout. So we got a mini band here. The first one, we're going to do banded hip extensions. We're going to put this band right here above the tops of our shoes, right around our ankles. Find a square where you can hold on for support. Pick whichever leg you want to start with. We're going to do both. We're going to go one at a time. So I'm going to start with my right leg here. I'm going to point that toe up. I'm going to drive my heel back. I'm going to turn my glute on. Squeeze my butt for a second. Bring my feet back together. So we'll do eight to 10 reps on each side here for about two to three sets. Now, for some of our younger athletes, we may actually do these in our working sets, in our actual workout, as we get them introduced to glute activation and things like that. So, another one that we can do with the band around our ankles is we're gonna go lateral band walk here. Get tension in the band, and we're just gonna go side to side here. Nice, easy steps, doesn't have to be anything dramatic, just enough to stretch that band a little bit. So we'll go eight steps to the right, eight steps to the left. We can also go monster walk. So instead of going side to side here, we're gonna go forward at a diagonal. Again, nothing dramatic on the steps here, just enough to get tension in that band. We can also move the band up just below our kneecaps and go banded glute bridge. We're gonna lay down for this one. I'm gonna turn sideways here. So we wanna make sure, keep tension in this band the entire time. Keep our knees apart, drive our heels into the floor, Raise our hips up to the ceiling, squeeze our glutes at the top. We're here, heels into the floor, drive up, squeeze, back down. Again, keep tension in that band the whole time. That band is trying to pull my knees together. Don't let that happen. We can lose the band. Take a single leg approach here and go single leg glute bridge. So, I'm gonna start right foot on the floor, which means my left leg is gonna be straight. And I'm gonna take my right heel, drive it into the turf, Raise my hips up, squeeze my glute just like I did when we had both feet on the floor. Single leg glute bridge. Just a little more of a unilateral approach. Another one we can do, and we'll do these a lot before we get ready to squat, just so we get our ankles nice and warmed up, working through a good range of motion here. We're gonna go knee to wall, dorsiflexion. Now I'm gonna show you on a plyo box here. Pick whichever foot you wanna start with. That foot is gonna be in front. We wanna make sure that our shoe stays flat on the floor the entire time. So from here, Start maybe three, four inches away from the wall or the box, wherever you're at. Drive that knee over the toe. Let it rest for a second. Come back. So that was pretty easy for me. So I just get my foot back a little bit. And we'll go again. Again, work to get to the wall, but also to keep that heel flat on the floor. Again, this is a really good one for us to get our ankles warmed up, get a little more range of motion before we load that range of motion with a heavy squat or something along those lines. Last but not least, go ahead and grab a dumbbell. Nothing crazy, we don't want to be chucking around a 50 pound dumbbell on this one, but we're going to be on one foot. We're going single leg dumbbell passes. This is a really good one for hip, knee, and ankle stability. So we're here, side to side. And again, we'll go maybe six to eight passes to each hand on each foot. Again, just a way to incorporate a little more stability, mobility, and activation stuff before we get ready to roll with our actual workout.